Welcome everyone to another Grandmaster God Guide and today we'll be covering Noir. Where is she? Noir! Noir! Noir's a really strong mage and um, I'll be showing you why in this video. <clears throat> right. Once again, mankind needs my help. I must protect them and this sacred place. Just level my stuff. Let's go to Aegis as well. Right, so let's go over uh, passes. Um, basically, it's called Steg for the Wood. Every five basic attacks you get, every five basic attacks you hit, sorry. So you have to hit them. We'll get a root, a root basic. As you can see, that little green thing around the um, crystals there it means our passive's up. And if you see the, all five of those yellow circles highlight and spin, it means our, our passive's also up. So if you then your next uh, basic attack will be a root for 1.5 seconds. Now, one thing to note is that you have to hit all five basics to get the passive. But if but you can miss the um, the route, um, as you can see. Um, isn't it's obviously consumed on your next basic, no matter what. Um, let's go over a one mysterious fog. So she cloaks herself into a stealth field, which also increases her moon speed by ten percent. If I can show that real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot to um, reduce my cooldowns. Um, so if you have a look in the bottom left, let's just wait until this Traveler's Shoes passive is up. See in the bottom left, the running guy, 433 movement speed, when my frog I gain 10% additional movement speed. You're stealthed as well during this duration, um, but it's revealed by structures. So if you are stealthed in an enemy structure, um, you'll be revealed. Um, one thing to note as well, this does initial base damage, and then it does ticks. Um, so the first hit does more, then it does ticks and ticks, like that, for every second you're in it. This lasts for six seconds, as you can see. And... Um, that's it, really. Um, oh yeah, that's, no, 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 that's not it. When I auto attack, I'm revealed. When I use my abilities, I'm revealed in the, in the fog for one second. But then I can restealth. Like I can auto, and then I get restealthed. Um, that goes for gods as well. Um, not just new R. Um. Let's go for a two, clay soldiers. Um, the scale and movement speed, I can't really prove it. I mean, I guess I can try. Um, oh yeah, I, can't really, I can't really, like, accurately prove that they do increase movement speed. So, oops, one thing, wrong thing. Um, but just take it from me, because I do have the wiki up right now, and it does say the moon speed increases from 365 to 380 to 395 to 410 to 425 at max rank. Uh, at rank 1, she'll summon one, one uh, minion. God. Sorry, not long ago, gone up, so I'm kind of like, my brain's all over the place. Rank one, battle, my children. summons one minion, which will dash at the first, um, first god it sees. Um, a rank two, she summons two. Forward, my creations. A rank three, she summons two still. A rank four, she summons two still. A rank five, she gets three. Um, one thing I would like to say is 
the dash the dashes reduce the magical protections of the uh, god is is hitting it doesn't apply for um well, I can myth buff that real quick and see if it does apply to Fire Giant real quick. I don't think it does. 158. 26. That's weird. How come I first one did 158 and all the rest did 120? Oh yeah, because Fire Giant gives a damage debuff to you. To the person who's pulling it. So um, let's let's find a more reliable way to do this. Um, One eighty-two. Wait. Oh shit! Yeah, the whole point, the whole point, Liam, was to prove that it works on Fire Giant. Not. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. So I have to wait for him to hit me first, and then I can do it. There's a debuff. Twenty six. One twenty six. So it doesn't apply to to um, double buses. Um, see, it doesn't really say um, on the actual um, tooltip here. I believe it does apply to just ordinary minions though. 239. To battle, my children! Try to not exploit the minions for the damage. Oh, so, so it doesn't apply to minions either. So I guess you just got to get affected by this. I, I thought uh, minions and stuff would get affected by it. So it's just gods. Um, the dashes are the only thing that do Forward, the, my creations. That do the um, protection reduction. The auto attacks don't. Um, if you, for the two as well, you can set a priority target. If you see that X above their name, um, you can set that those minions to hit that specific god, which is a good change they did quite a while back. Um, as to know. Oh yeah, soldier's health, 200 plus 3 AE. I believe that. I believe that scales. Um. With how much HP you have. Um. So let's um prove that real quick. Let's have a look. We've got plus 3 AE. Add um some health item. And it is 450. So it scales to 20% of your your maximum HP. Um, the the minions dash and then all attack. They they always dash before all attacking. To battle, my children. That's weird. Oh, I know why. Because um, this only this only lasts for um, two seconds. The protection debuff. I was wondering why the damage went down. Um, if there are no enemies, like at all, they'll march down to the nearest lane. I say they march down to the nearest lane. Where are you going? They don't dash minions, as you can see. They only dash gods. Um, I think that's what the uh, X... They only dash gods. I was going to say that's what the X is for, but then again, you don't need the X to be over them to have them dash. Um... To battle, my children! Alright, let's go over the three. Pretty sure that's it for the two. Oh, yeah. The... the um... Soldiers basics do not apply um, my on hit effect. So like Soul Reaver. A little power will brighten my forward, my creation. Neither do the dashes. It's just neither do the basics. Battle, my children. 
Let me just uh, make sure for certain because they're invulnerable. Let's um, dash the knife. Go. Go, my chance. Yeah. It doesn't apply on minion. It doesn't apply um, effect like Soul Reaver. If, if you manage to have high enough CDR, um, if you cast one lot, and then if they're still alive and you cast another lot, they instantly die. Um, so bear that in mind, you can't have more than one lot of minions. Um, let's go over the three. Shiny Metal, new R launches a massive shiny metal damage on all enemies, it hit. Hits one of the clay soldiers exposed, dealing additional damage on stunning enemies. So, go through walls, good to know. Doesn't stop, just go through minions, go through everything. Even towers. Um, if you hit a... To battle, my children! If you, hit, if you hit, like, a minion with it, it explodes and you see the circle, that's a stun in the entire area and damage. So if there is more than one guard, in the area, they both get stunned, or they all get stunned, whatever the word you want to use, and they all take damage. Um, as you see, it says immune because these guys are immune. Forward, so, my uh, creation! That means there was supposed to be a stun, but they're immune to it. Um, because obviously, those are immune to um, TC and jungle practice. Um, one myth people believe is if you hit multiple um, minions with your wand, it does add a stun effect. You see, it does add a stun per, not per minion, but the closest one it is to the god. So you see the circle in the middle? That's stun for one second. The circle Battle, on the outside doesn't add an additional second. Whichever one's closest. Um. So what I'm trying to say is they're only Forward affected by one creations. of the explosions. As you see. Um, let me just get rid of uh, Soul Reaver real quick to show you the numbers. It's easy for you to see. 269, 150. 159. Um, let's have a look how much damage this do. Minion explode 150, right? So the initial hit, and the initial hit does more damage to than the my children. So if if you miss the minion, Forward, my creation. the explosion damage still does still go. If you miss the to minion, battle, my children. sorry, not miss the minion. If you miss the three and only hit the minion, the explosion damage is um this still does damage you don't have to hit the three head on to the god you can see 156 um it scales as it says here minion stun for one second to 1.4 seconds it's pretty strong also the a powerful artifact to do good let's get, so let's get soul reaver as well Yeah, it should count two. There's two instances of time, right? To battle, my children! Oh, okay, right. So it doesn't apply two sets of Soul Reaver. Forward, my creation! I thought it did because it was two separate instances of damage. Because you got the explosion and the three, but I guess it's tied under the three because it says minion explode there. So, what I'm proving is, it to only did on one, one Soul Reaver um, damage. Um, but if I was to hit the minion, it still does the Soul Reaver damage. Um, so you'd have to hit head on to fly um, thingies. You can um, hit the side. To battle there, my children! And it applies the Soul Reaver. It does not apply to Forward, the Soul Reaver. Forward, my creation! Um, 
Oh yeah, projectiles are consumed. He isn't consumed while throwing this. So it still passes through, so I'm just through that real quick. As you see my three that I hit the um, Odin. Um, let's go over the let's go over the four or the ult, sorry. So dashes, four units, and it's all gods on the map. No matter where they are. If say if this Odin had Aegis, but say if I hit this Odin, right, with my ult, and he had Aegis, um, and then he dies from another um, god or something, I still get an assist. You don't need to do damage with this ability, only because it reveals them on the minimap. You, I can't really show you because this jungle pad doesn't have a minimap. This reveals enemies on the minimap. If they die within, I think it's five seconds of being revealed, even if they are damage immune, you get an assist. But I've got um, obviously she's immune to crowd control while um, casting this and um, she does a little mini dash at the start of it um, and she does a mini dash out of it um, she becomes untargetable in the air unless um, there's another new wall on the map. Obviously, you can't target her with um, you, with just ordinary abilities like um, raw one if she's in the sky. But if she has Nethal on her while she's going to the sky, it'll still hit her in the sky. Actually, does it? I'm not entirely sure. I think it. I think it still hits her in the sky, or or it waits for her to land. Actually, you know, he wouldn't hit her because Apollo doesn't get hit by Nethal unless he lands. So I don't think it does hit her in the sky. Though, the enemy knew you are. If they ult you while you're in the sky, you get hit. So, there's loads of abilities that plays by different rules in this game. Um, also, I can't really prove it because... It's kind of hard to. Raise the heavens! Um, but if Ymir puts a wall up, hopefully he doesn't cancel it. That first drop of blood did not take long at all. Wall me, please. Wall me, please. Wall me, please. Wall me, please. Okay, All right. he's not going to obviously help me in any way. Thanks to you, for your help. Basically, her ult passes through player made obstacles. Say if this is an loading cage here on this line, I couldn't just. Um. Yeah, has to be from the has to be from the lift though. I don't think it works on the landing. Um. Let's go over builds. There's a really nice build I like, actually. There's two builds you can go on mages right now, I think. Well, obviously there's more than that. But with new wild, I like to go a Conduit Jam. And tier on Rod. And then some potions to your early game build, you know. And back into whatever boots you want. Not Windblade. Whatever boots you want. I'd probably go Cooldown Boots. And then Rod of Tahuti. Then... Um, here I would go, you could go Flat Pen if you want, I'd go Tessa. You could go Spear the Magus. How oh, much? No, this doesn't have, uh, That doesn't apply from um, your minions, so... Um, unless you hit them with like your 1 or your all, it's not really going to apply. Because most combos is 2 then 1, right? Most of the time you want your Spear the Magus to proc before you hit your big damage and ability. So I'd go, I'd go Desolation. You can, honestly, I'd go Divine as well if they have um, healing. Divine's always good against right healing, obviously. Then you could go uh, Soul Gem. Soul Gem is literally a must-die on Modern Art. I, um, I don't think there's any reason not to buy it. 
And here, you can go Karen's coin if you want, percent pan, you could go up shard. Um, you could even go Soul Reaver. And then sell your boots into. Um, I'd go percent pen here because you're lacking it. So. A powerful artifact to Sitting be good. shard, Karen's coin. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. If you want to be cheesy, you could go stuff and mid, and so you can all, and then like. <clears throat> um. One, to three, battle, three, my one. children. Not one, sorry. Three, two, and three again. Oh, I don't think it's that good enough. You could deploy two fogs. Better to keep a be low super profile. Tricksy. You could all and um, put one fog going that way, and one fog going that way, and then you have to guess where you're going. <clears throat> Does this reset my? Of course, it doesn't reset my abilities. Oh, that's so annoying. I have to wait real quick to show you. Stuff I'm adding is percent pen, so and cool down, which is nice. So you got 20, 10, 20, 30, and with the pot. So like I was saying, you could do one fog going this way, one fog. Oh right, you can't have more than one fog. That's cringe. You know, Tiamat can have like a bunch of minions running down a lane from different sources. No, no, New War can't have two fogs. I guess I'd be OP. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it would be. Staff made in there and I wouldn't really go it. So then I'd just finish up with Opshard or any other... A little power will brighten my day. Any other on-hit... On-hit effects like, um... Sorry, the Soul Jam. I'll spies on hit effects as a mage. Ethereal staff does, but that only if it hits one person. Um, I guess it's just Spear the Magus. A powerful artifact to do. This only applies to one god, though. Um. Yeah. So Soul Gem, Soul Reaver. Um. What was that? Yeah, Desolation. This is a good build and finish up with Gem of Focus or um, Archmage's Gem. That's really good on Noir. The reason why Archmage's right Gem is really good on Noir is because this, because your ult, even with Soul Gem, this is only really meant to hit. Actually, no. I guess it doesn't really explain properly. On the ability, anyone that's hit by the ability who has a, a full stack Soul Gem get hit. No matter how many gods it is. So. As you can see, I'll go up into the sky. Soul Gem applies to every god, and so does Archmage's um, Gem. So that's really good on New War. Um, so I'd wait for this before you start, wait for that to be fully stacked. And I don't know, say if you have like, it's proper end game. Um, you have like, I don't know, Elixir of Power, Elixir of Potion, I mean, Elixir of Power and pow Potion of Power, sorry. I see you had uh, red buff as well. Let me just uh, get speed pot so I can speed this all real quick. Alright. Need to apply more. Um, need to get my soul gem stacks up. Just imagine this. Alright. Wait for this um, Archmage gem to be stacked. You have all this. And you will. How much damage just did? 650 plus Soul Gem plus Soul Reaver plus Archmage Gem, right? That is enough to literally nearly one shot a squishy. Um, so, most of the time when I'm playing New War and Conquest and I'm out of Fire Giant fight and I have like max cooldown, I mean 30% CDR. Or max CDR. I'll just ult at the start of the fight, so A, your assassin can kill the backline easier because they'll either have to Aegis your ult or they won't Aegis your ult and then get killed by the assassin. Um, you have to pretty much always Aegis the one. 
Um, you have slain an enemy! Because it does so much damage to like everyone. Um, another build um, I like on mages are um, this build. Though I wouldn't really recommend it on New War because I would say Archmage Gem is probably a best item on Soul Gem is. Or if you don't want to go that and you want CDR really, because Sands of Time. Powerful artifact to do. To Rod of Tui. Two on Rod. Back to, to Light Steel Boots. Finish off Rod. Then, you can go Soul Gem here if you want. Um, I was watching Wolfie stream the other day. And I think I do. I, I think I do. Um, agree with what he's saying. You don't really need Flat Pen um, nowadays. Um. So you can go it. Flat pen isn't bad, but you don't you don't have to go it. Is what I'm saying. You went like this, soul gem, and went like Karen's coin. A little power will brighten my day. That's ten. That's twenty. And what item was it now? You had another CDR item. Um, CDR, CDR. Hold on. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't have another CDR. Item. Um, Karen's queen. Then I'd go Soul Reaver. A powerful artifact to do good. Oh, I know why. Because this gives twenty. No, that's ten. Yeah, yeah. This gives um twenty percent CDR, Pendulum of Ages. Then you go back into your power potion after you finish boots. Boots here. Um, literally anything you want. I mean, you could go ethereal stuff. A little power will brighten my day. Because then you can just literally ult and then you'll get a stack of ethereal stuff from the highest target. H highest HP target. Just for free without even being near them. Um, what else? You could go, um... I'll just go like a really high power item, like, I don't know, Doom or something. A powerful artifact to do good. And then finish up with um, power pot. So you get... Magical, you get magical power, red, magical power and cooldown reduction, and increase. It. Why is it? Why is it saying increase physical power? It doesn't say though here. It doesn't say it gives you ten percent magical power reduction. It does. I mean magical power pen. Wait, does it? I believe it does. Right, twenty percent, ten percent. And then I've got 40%, right? So if I was to remove my percent items. Yeah, the game doesn't tell you. Obviously it doesn't. A little power will brighten my day. I knew it did. I, I, I knew it did. It's just it doesn't say. So that's why I was confused. Yeah, this gives 10% power. I mean 10% magical pan. Um, so with this build... You have 20%, 30% CDR, right, in your base build, but with the mad power part, you have 40% CDR, and you have 40% magical pen, which is a cap, the cap, and the cap of, um, and the cap of uh, cooldown reduction, and you have a lot of power. Honestly, this is probably literally the best build you could go, really. It gives you everything. Capped percent pen, capped, um, Cap CDR, on hit effects, um, high power, you don't really need flat pen because you do that much damage anyway. And bear in mind, especially as new are, because your two, remember, does power reduction. I mean, not power reduction, magical protection reduction. Up to 60. Forward, my creation! And so it's squishy. Late, as you can see, my magical protection is 48 and um, level 20. If you're hitting a squishy with your two late game and they don't have any protections, like any items, from, any protection from items, you're gonna pretty much do true damage anyway when you are. So you don't really need flat pen. Flat pen is good still if you want like a good power spike against squishies early game, or you want, um, I don't know, divine ruin. I would always go divine ruin if they have healing. Um, so this is the, this is the main build I'd really go on, uh, mages nowadays. Um, 
on some gods I prefer ethereal staff. I like ethereal staff. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go with combos now. Combo one. Her fog. Let's not call attention to and us. Her minions. Her, min her minions are stealthed in the fog. Time right? to see battle, you my can children. hide in the you can hide in the fog with the minions. Um I mean do this in a more that way. Why are you going over there? Anyway, yeah. It's a killing spree out there. You can hide in the fog with the minions, you know, when you're in range, once you dash. You know, Forward, my do the creations. Combo. Really good Double sneak. Kill. Really, really good sneaky combo you can do that. Another combo, obviously, to explode. Um, you can raw cast a three. Um that's it really for combos with new war. There's nothing much like nothing like exciting I'd say. Um you can just you can battle throw my the minions children. Out. You can literally just throw the minions out while you're like say you're in a lane, you cleared the wave and the enemy god isn't there, you can just throw them up with the minions. Why are you going over there? Yeah. Throw them here. And they could just literally hit the tower and do extra damage. Um, her ult, remember, on hit effects that apply multiple guard, that apply to multiple Evil guards. Shall be cleansed. You hit everyone with the ult. Soul gem. Hits every guard with the stack. Um, is that it? Is that it? Uh. Oh yeah, the the. Yeah. To battle my children! These last for 10 seconds all ranks. Remember, your HP scales the soldier's health. Your max HP. Um. Oh, right, and the, the minions will always, Forward, my creations. will always follow the guard until they're dead. If you if you set this guy as a priority, they will follow him until they're dead or he's dead. <clears throat> Either or, they will always pursue. Even through towers, even if he's running through tower, you'll target him constantly until that boat until either are dead. Oh, and um, the minions always prioritize gods. To battle, my children! Always. If there's a minion wave here, if you pop your two, they'll go to the god, they won't hit the creeps. If there's no other, if there's no gods around, the, the two will always go to the minions or the closest enemy. Um, I think that's it. I went over the stun with the two, and I mean with the three and the two. Oh, the fog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm forgetting. Literally one of the most strongest passives in the game. New art root. Combo is... Root, two, follow, three. Root, two, follow, three. Or you could do... Because then, well, that's actually better, because if you cast the fog before you root, Let's not call they'll get rooted into the fog, and then they get stunned into the fog as well. Um, if you were to root them first, then stun them, and then cast your fog, they'll just jump Battle away. Come they could just jump away now. Um, so always ca if you can, always cast your fog first. Um, then if they're running away, blah blah blah, the low HP, Raise the heavens! should kill them. Her passive is so strong. If you can, if you can master her passive, uh, that separates an okay new art player to a very good one, is the use of her passive. This is so strong. Because remember, you can literally CC them for these, right? Forward, my creation! Yeah. 
We were hidden and stunned. She's a very safe guard. She can, you can play tricks with her. Away. You know, you can hide at the back of your fog here. Um, you can, Better to keep a low profile. Literally, you can even duke them if you if you learn how to use this ability right. Let's not call attention to ourselves. You can duke them really well, right? They'll be looking at the fog. You can just dip off to the side. There's been some times where I've been trying to catch a new one in the fog, and I get completely duked by it, even as a grandmaster I'll player. Come and go with if you can use it well, anyway. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Um. Sorry to this guy was a bit all over the place. I don't really play Noir as much. I do have a diamond, but I, I know like the very basics of her. Um, see, with gods like a Cullen, I, I play that god a lot, so I kind of know off by heart um, his stuff. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the guide. I'm sorry it was a bit all over the place, but I still hope it helped you anyway. Um, be sure to comment what god you want to see next. And um, have a good day. Um, I think there might be a guide tomorrow or not, I'm not sure, because I'm uploading, I mean, doing a gameplay for the channel, like I said in the other video, so I might just be doing that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, enjoy your day and um, I'll see you soon.